Hello everyone, Shadow Sally here, and welcome to the next episode of Divinity Original Sin. In the previous episode, we went through the tutorial dungeon and we helped out a saddening she shell that was stuck on land and we helped send him back. So now we're finished heading back up to the city of Sicile to start our investigation for the murder of the council member Jack that we've been sent. So. One man's trash is another man's trash. Yes, one man's trash is another man's trash. How go ooh. Alright everybody, you know how I told you in the previous episode we picked up a shovel and we get the mounds. These are what the mounds look like. So if I come over here and click on it, I can dig up the mound. Ooh, a treasure chest. Uh, poison flask. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. There's a crafting and cooking oh, book. Oh. Right there, orc scum. No one slips past the legion unchallenged. Looks like we've stumbled upon some messed up guards. They look they look drunk to me. Calm down, Junior. Oh yeah, they're drunk. Does it look, look like one of them orcs to be? <laughs> Not a single old in sight, you know. Just hold your tongue with you, baby -ers. Can't be too careful. We are sworn to protect Sightseal. All right, we have some options. Who are you? We are here on Source Hunter's Business. Here are our orders. I'd like to ask you a few questions or take my leave. Um, we are Source Hunters. Here's our orders. Come on. I don't think anyone can, you know, push us off when we have orders to be here in Sicil, so. So, you're sorcerers, are you? And how are we supposed to verify that's true? We can't read, my friend. So for all we know, those papers say you're a polymorph parrot on the lookout for a two-bedroom birdcage. They don't prove a thing. They're guards for a town and they can't read. So how do they know they're at the right town or the right bridge to be guarding in the first place. You know what? We'll take you two to the wizard. I know he reads. He has books large as a house, that one. Yeah, he'll squeeze the truth out of you. Hmm. Huh? Sounds like a good good idea. The wizard, you say? Sounds good to me. Lead the way. I don't need an escort, especially not a drunk one. Back off or face me. Well... They are guards of size seal, so I really don't think pissing them off and starting a fight with guards would really go over well with the town. So the let's just have them take us. Sounds good to me. Lead the way. She Cheyenne, since she's a noble paladin type character, she's going to agree with me because she is full of justice and love and care. Agreed. A wizard is bound to know more about what is going on around here. Captain, come along. We're not far from the city. We both got level up and we got obedient. Under things. You keep them eyes open, you hear? Shh. If the orcs show up, I don't Okay, let's go in our inventory real quick. We got a book. What does this do? Crafting and cooking with Mandarin? Crafting and cooking with Marty Mardino. Not Mandarin, Mardino, a guide for urban and furrow bachelors. Part one, bachelor's guide to crafting. Because girls, I'll put ribbons and bows on your clubs and axes. Mardino, the the all-knowing. Whether you're lost in the metropolis or the untoted wild, the proper bachelor can craft all he needs to survive an orc ambush or a single ball. Let's have a look at Marion. Mardino's Classics. A good arrow starts with a shaft. You can make your own arrow shafts out of any tree branch. All it takes is a knife and create your own special arrow arrowhead to really surprise the enemy. But we'll leave that for another chapter. If you think a dagger takes you too up close and personal to an ugly enemy's face, try sticking it at the end of a tree branch so you can poke them from a, di from a bit of difference. If you're not... If you're not the stabbing type, glue two branches together and you've got yourself a staff. Ooh. Part two, Patrick, the Bachelor's Guide to Cooking. Because girls' dishes takes ages and come with too many vegetables. Mardino, the all-preserving. Perhaps you prepare yourself for the most versatile dish around. 
one that I have dubbed the Sicilian pie. All you need is a wheel of dough and whatever topping takes your fancy. Flash, flesh, fish, or those funny mushrooms. Yours is the choice. Urban bachelors, prepare your pie and slide it into the oven. Fail bat bachelors, prepare your pie and heat it over a low fire. You can't go miss with Sicilian God, pie or Sicilian pie, the ultimate bachelor's really substance. The delicious that's smell may attract is. hungry, savage creatures. Mardino can't be held responsible for the deaths of pie baking feral bachelors. <laughs> that's funny. I like that. Here's some of Mardino's favorites. First of all, prepare your dough. All it takes is some flour and water. This is the basic ingredients for bread, but you can turn it. You can turn it into cheese bread dough with cheese or uh, Sicilian pie dough with fish, or, or even a pizza with pizza sauce. To make pizza sauce, just smash a, a tomato with a hammer for all I care. Ha. All right, we got some new recipes. We got arrow shaft, tomato sauce. Cheese bread dough, pizza dough, dough, more dough, so I seal fish pie, fish pie dough, sounds good, an elemental quarter staff, and a homemade spear. So if we go in here, Go to crafting. I take it we can go here and combine these. A potential combination, a potential combination, but needs more crafting ability. Hmm. So we really can't do anything like that. We have some arrowheads, don't we? Right here. Can we make these? We don't have enough. I believe our crafting ability is pretty, pretty low. Crafting is one. And we get that from our pragmatic ability. So, let's go ahead and level everybody up. I have a, one available skill. We're going to put constitution so we have some more health. And then... I'm actually going to do crafting. I'm going to do crafting. Cheyenne's going to do uh, blacksmithing because she's a paladin. But we're, we're both mage slash warrior type classes. So we know how to give ourselves that. Go over to Cheyenne. Cheyenne. I'm going to give her some more intelligence so she can heal better. Doesn't really change anything. Um... See if this does anything. See if it heals anymore. Oh, it does. So I put one point in intelligence. Her heal went from 20 to 23. And probably that went from 35 to 38, which is nice. Um, ooh, I don't want to screw on that. I'm probably going to give her... You know what? I'm going to give her leadership right now because we don't have it dubbed into the blacksmithing section yet. We do crafting, so... I'm going to give her the leadership, because the leadership gives us boost initiating damage, so go ahead and select that, and we're going to continue on. Ooh, some blue gold mushrooms, yummy! That sounds like, sounds really good, like a mushroom. Um, what does the mushrooms do, actually? Effects unknown, a gaggling of garden mushrooms bunched together corresponding. We got nothing in here. I should be having her search the chest because she's got that lucky charm kind of thing. What's going on down here? Orc trooper. Uh oh. We got problem orcs. Come, let's go back to the bridge. Let the source hunters handle their big brutes. Yeah, yeah, you guys probably won't do very much. Help to us when you're drunk. I'm sorry, but I don't think drunkenness in combat is a good mix. Ooh, a short sword and a standard issue bow. Okay, um... 
Yeah, definitely upgrade to to our weapon. What is Cheyenne using? She's using a club. Do we have any other blunt weapons? That's a two-hander. How much damage is she doing? 11 to 16. She's got a training club, right? Oh, Source Hunter's Maze. So I have a better weapon. We're going to have to get her a better weapon. Quickly. Because we're both going to be running shield and one-hander. She's going to be mace, doing mace. Uh-oh, what's that? Holy crap! Alright, it's time for some combat. And it's my turn. And I think I'm going to be a total dick. And I'm going to cast this on the oil barrel. Boom! Look at that. Now they're all burning. So now they're like, oh-ho! Oh-ho! We got an orc shaman. Those guys are gonna go ahead and beat the crap out of that guy. Except for somebody's about to die. Oh, the black cultist is about to die. And they took out that orc. He's gonna get healed. He's gonna try and beat the hell out of him. The orcs are. Orcs are high in strength, but unfortunately, they're since they're extremely aggressive, their accuracy is really low, but their their damage and their crit is really high. I'm gonna go ahead and slam this dude down. I can't reach the target, so I'm gonna move over here. She's gonna end my turn. I think he's gonna heal. Oh, nope, nope, he's just going to end his turn. They're going to gang up on him. He's going to dodge. He's going to go down. It's really nice to have a big full team. We only have two people, so... It's going to be kind of problematic. I'm going to go ahead and miss. We're going to end our turn. He's going to cast something. He's going to hit us. They're going to jack the shaman up. I'm going to go ahead and take the shaman. And I'm going to have her go ahead and hit him. And we'll lock. Combat is over. We have beaten the orcs back. Those orcs had a human commander. How very curious. And how very disquieting. That is usually very disturbing because orcs are the type of mo creature that doesn't like, that doesn't deal with humans. They're kind of like, they, they kind of keep to their own kind, let's just say. They don't like to deal with anybody else. Dude, some more armor. Leather armor, is that better than what we're using? Yes, it is. Go ahead and change that. Let's look at our character now. He look a little more beefy. He, I want heavy armor, but that's way better armor than we have now. She's got better armor than that leather armor, so we, I might as well, because I'm still using a pair of robes. A pair of crappy robes. Anything on anybody? Looks like nobody was carrying anything. That's... Ooh, we got another water balloon. There's a shell over here. There's another body. Go ahead and pick this. Is there anything over here? Nope. All right. Is there anything over yonder? Ooh, there's a chest over here. Let us Stardust Herb. Hmm. Oh, crap. There's ships on fire. Let's help them out. Let's cast all rain spell. Ooh, we got a quest. We gained reputation and 900 experience. Those guys are happy. I love being a source hunter. Ooh, there's the shark fighting knife. Some boots, which are better. 
And not a flare scroll. All right. Let's go ahead and equip them new boots. We're going to have to upgrade her equipment since we're getting to town. A uh, gift to Rivalon from one of the elemental monarchs of the realm of fairy. Hmm. We got a key. That's the key to the ancient stone. We got some raw meat. We got some shells. We got a fireball spell, which actually we're going to move the fireball spell here. Let's go ahead and um, do one of these. To sh oh, no. I'm going to give her the fire flare spells because therefore she'll get a little more range. All right, where, where did everybody go? Oh, right here. All right, it's time for us to head into town. A cat is greeting us at the door. What the hell? Arthur, oh, this is the guy we're supposed to meet. Ruckus. Sounded worse than a dozen tomcats fighting over the world's last mackerel. Why is he cat? Everybody can trade. Oh, that's cool. We can trade with him. Ooh. We can buy spells from him. Wow, that's some cool stuff right there. Ooh, midnight. Um. Said to him, I said myself, if I don't start earning an extra gold piece an hour, let's go ahead and sell off a bunch of the stuff to him. These boss men respect companies, you know. So what they say? Ooh, he's got some boots. Ooh, mortal and pestle. We want one of those. Um, I think I'm going to even this out. Let's go with that. I'm going to sell a bunch of this stuff to him really quick before we engage in conversation because our inventory is so messed up right now. Don't need the shells. Keep that. Don't need the mug of beer. Orange juice. Don't need the bottle of wine. Uh, we don't need that, that, and that. We already read that book, so we don't need it. Hmm, we need a shovel, we need all that. Got a cooking pot. I don't think we need two of those. Neither of us are using a bow or staff, so we can get rid of that. I don't think we need that either. Or this with this. We have what a hammer, we don't need two. Yes, on this pair for an honest day. I think we can just keep a hold of the rest of the stuff. There's man intelligent potion, healing, fire resistance. I don't like using fire resistant po or the resistant potions because they don't last very long. They last for three turns in combat and they waste a turn, so I like to be vigilant on the offense at all time. Plus we have a healer. Um Firestorm Grenade. We can keep that. I don't know about the arrows. I'm going to keep the arrows, though, just in case. Go ahead and just do that. we got tons of money. All right, let's get into this conversation with him. Because it's probably be the only thing we hit, we can do for the rest of the, the video today. So, continue. Ah, but I see we've suffered another orc landing. And judging by the relative ease with which it was dispatched, I can only come to one conclusion. Source hunters have arrived in Sicil. Yes, we have finally arrived. You're as welcome as a glass of cooled milk on a hot day, my friend. I'm Arhu, at your service. Arhu. Arhu. It was I who requested your presence in this troubled city. Was summoned here by a cat. So you were, and so you weren't. Behold, there we are. Meet my other half, hunter. What the beep? That was unexpected. <laughs> no need to look so flabbergasted. I may be a wizard rife with tricks and mm. guile, but I assure you, my plea 
is an earnest one. He is a wizard, so he can do. He he's probably got lots of magical spells and turning a cat. You know that's pretty cool. So now that the cat is out of the bag, wow. Let us turn to the matter of Counselor Jake's murder. Jake. Yes, please tell me more about the murder. To put my finger on it, but I can feel in my very whiskers that sorcery was at play. Visit the scene of the crime, and I bet sardines for salad you'll say the same. Captain Continue. Aureus, though, the local commander of the Legion, insists I'm seeing ghosts. I insist he's blind to all but the undead. Uh, where can I find the scene of the crime? Jake was murdered in a downstairs room of the King Crab Inn, up in Sicil proper. The Legion keeps it under lock and key, though, so you'll need Aureus's permission, should you want to have a peek. A counselor has been murdered, so I assume there are some suspects. So there are. Or rather, there is. Popular opinion has it his wife did the deed. But to be frank, I have my doubts. Hmm. Only way... A significant other would murder the other one is if a they were having an affair with somebody else b they were only married with the person in the first place for money if they were rich and being a counselor probably had a substantial amount of money or three person was just crazy so she is we'll put her on top of our suspect list because you know she may be a loving, caring wife, but we don't know. We have to go talk to her. Continue. She seems a likely candidate, to be sure, but that would make her a sorceress. That too. Esmeralda knows how to charm, yes, but I just don't see her magic extend beyond a frolicsome look and wink. Hmm. Still, don't simply take my word for it, Hunter. It may be well worth your while to cross-examine her yourself. The Legion has her under guard in her shop near the town square. That's where you'll find poor Jake's widow. Okay. So, Ario, we gotta go talk to him and get permission to go look at the crime scene, and we gotta go talk to Esmeralda. There's something else I'd like to discuss. It may interest you to know that orcs were taking... Take, were... It may interest you to know that the orcs we took care of was led by a human. A human, you say? Truly? But that would be like a kitten leading a wolf pack. And I agree with you. It doesn't make sense. Why would orcs be led by humans unless a human sorcerer was mind-controlling them or gave them a better guard and... Uh, ah, uh, what's the word? Bribe them with something exponentially great to get them to follow. Because, like I said, orcs, they're brute dumbasses, but at the same time, they live on kill, loot, and that is it. If they, got, if they see you got something you want, they take it. They're not diplomatics. They are just brute wrecking balls, basically. And yet, I have heard rumors about a sect of sorts, a shadowy set of worshippers that associate even with orcs. Some say they're sorcerers, but people will say that about anyone who behaves a bit strangely nowadays. I don't quite know what to make of this news, but thank you for informing me. It'd be foolish to dismiss such a curious event out of hand. Alright, what exactly is the trouble you're having with the undead? Because I've been hearing a lot about the undead, and I'm curious. Ah, the undead. They've been clawing their way out of the ground for two years now. And for two years, the stalemate between them and the living has been dragging on at a weary pace indeed. What does it matter? The Don't Legion I... did a good job keeping them at bay. But I think it's fair to say that without my magic-infused ballastay, they'd have gotten the better of us by now. Someone is responsible for the outbreak. 
Necromancers are at work, but who are they and where do they hide? Alas, that searching for them is like searching for a single louse in a lion's mane. Well, my first assumption and my understanding of Arhu is he is big on the whole cat disguise. Maybe later, maybe later we'll get to um, understand him. From what I've seen and heard, this isn't the first time you've had problems with marauding orcs. Unfortunately, that is absolutely correct. The orc siege is yet another hairball stuck in this city's already choking throat, and it shows no signs of abating. We've cordoned off the western beach where most orc activity has been reported. For the nine lives of me, I can't seem to figure what they're doing here. There's nothing of interest along the waterfront, except for a set of caves with an unfavorable reputation. Maybe they're after some pirate's treasure, the fools. <laughs> Tysiel is in a, a lot of trouble right now. They've got orcs raiding on their town. They got an issue with the undead. And on top of that, a council, the council member Jack got killed, which is suspected by sorcerers. So, yeah, that was a good idea for them to call us here. You Do tell me a bit more about this cat trick of yours. Oh, but that's not a trick. It's a blessing. Or does it surprise you that I enjoy taking a feline guise? Such magic is a gift, Hunter. To tread upon the realm of instinct. Even articulate speech, perhaps humanity's greatest asset, cannot give expression to something so inextricably innate. Interesting. To be out in the night. To stalk on silent paws and hunt with only the moon as your witness. You couldn't possibly imagine the thrill. I wonder if it's possible if one of us can learn how to take on an animal disguise. I'd be a wolf. I love wolves. Wolves are badasses. If I could be, I'd be a dragon, but that's, that's pretty far out there. But of course, it's handy to speak in more than meows. And I couldn't brew potions or make machines without opposable thumbs. This I freely admit. Let's just say I have found a way to enjoy the best of two worlds. All right, I think that's all the information we need from this. So we'll take our leave. I'm glad we've met Source Hunter. And I'm certain we have a lot more to talk about. Feel free to visit me whenever you want. I've set up a workshop in the Legion's headquarters. And respect confidence, you know. Uh, so what do they say? Once you're there, just take the stairs. But do pay a visit to Aureus first. He may bark like a beagle with its tail stuck in the door, but you won't get very far in your investigation without speaking to the de facto leader of Sysiel. And with that, I bid you adieu, Hunter. Adieu and good luck. May your enemies prove to be mere mice, and you the dauntless mouser. Sorcery, sects, undead, orcs. Looks like we have our work cut out for us. At least we won't be bored. How about we go and see that Aureus chap who mentioned? Aureus, yes. First on our list is to go see Aureus. Ooh, another book. Fun with Fluids, Volume 2. I said to him, I said to myself, if I don't start earning an extra gold piece an hour, I'll walk out that door. Good on you. Let's go look at this book real quick before we get off. Fun fluids. If you're ever tired consuming a gumpian mushroom, you know full well what manner of effect it will have. Most really on mushrooms have some sort of effect on the human body, and their essence can be squeezed into a potion to enhance their effects. Combined mushroom-based potions have similar effects fire resistant po potion is a new recipe we got okay but all right everybody that is all the time i have for today's episode uh, i do do apologize um for if this seems to be too slow getting into this whole game but we'll be getting into the meat of the game here shortly so thank you all for watching don't forget to hit that like button mm -hmm. and don't forget to hit Hit me up with a comment. I always do love hearing from you guys. And I will see you all in the next episode of Divinity Original Sin. Later, guys.
good on you. These boss men.